Good morning and welcome back to the Oaks. My name is Everest John and we are hopefully finishing the barley today. We have got a nice sunny morning. Looks like it's going to cloud over as the day goes on. But hopefully the rain stays away. Let's just get this last bit of barley in. Could do with the weather staying good. Don't want to carry the barley through another day. I need to get the sugar beet in as quickly as we can as well. Yeah, yeah this tractor's going well on the drill. It is already up to 36 and a half hours so it's romping up the hours as the main workhorse on the farm at the minute. Uh, keep cracking on with it. Fields like this one, the big ones, if it comes that we need sugar beet or anything in, we will have sugar beet potatoes and carrots all in the same field. It's all split it up nicely. Uh, not sure what we're having to harvest those yet. Still not got anything in the pipeline. Uh, we can look and see what's on the second on market. If we want to go down that route, or we could lease something to do the harvest. nearer the time we've got plenty of time between now and October to decide what we're doing with that got to crack on with the combining we've also got to get the guards up on the combine and give that a good service before harvest Let's see how that heats into any money we've got I mean we have got just over 200,000 in the bank at the moment so see what the repairs on the combine anything needed shouldn't need too much it didn't do a lot of work last year so should be pretty good to go these rows getting a lot shorter each pass we make not far now I don't think from the end there you can see where we've done already and that is where the next one will start on the way back up again but won't be doing anything beyond there uh, yeah a fair bit shorter each time and you can see 
where we've drilled the Edmund, it's not very long rows to finish us off. Once we get all the spring crops in, we'll get the liquid fertilizer in and go over them with that. May need to buy some more liquid fertilizer as well going forward. to go across this end of the field or even though it's short work and will come quickly to us again another sense get into the short work it slows you down because you're all the time turning so swings and roundabouts that it is only just after half past eight in the morning, so should hopefully have this done before the end of the day. We are almost up to the gateway where we've got the seed trailer. back up again you can see the field of wheat I think it's a field of wheat over there growing nicely yeah I think it is wheat I'm put in there that is growing well uh, I have to go and check the crops at some point have a walk through see how they're going see what sort of year we have for growing how well the crops yield you do get good years and you get bad years uh, hopefully we don't get a terrible year never know in farming what you're going to spend all this time putting it in, fertilising and everything and then you don't know what's going to happen until harvest uh, not many people go out and gamble hundreds of thousands of pounds but in farming that's exactly what you're doing every year putting on hundreds of thousands of pounds bets and yeah that's the best way of looking or best way of explaining it the risk factor of farming we have got the stewardship thing going on so You will see as we turn around the wide margin there, which is what we're getting paid for actually. Get paid to have them margins around the field to keep the birds happy as you can see there's some wild flowers and stuff growing in there for the bees so yeah got to look after the bees and the birds especially the bees of course without bees they would 
As much as without farm as you wouldn't grow any food, without bees you won't get any food, even with farmers. So, uh, yeah, it's all got to work with nature to keep these going. Anyway, we will see you about 11 o'clock and see where we're getting to. Oh, we've got the seed left in the drill. We've got a part bag on the tines of the telehandler. Uh, it's going to be touch and go. I think we should have enough seed here, but time will tell. With the rows getting shorter, we've still got just over two ton in here so although we are on the patch of land here where we're using more seed uh, getting close to finishing the barley for this year We'll see how this seed runs out. May have to buy another bugger to a seed yet. We will see. Oh, drill hasn't gone down. There we go. <coughs> so yeah, we are hoping we've got enough seed here. Don't want to have to run across and buy more barley seed before we finish. Still got 60% of the offer full, so may get to the other end and go and fill it up again once you get to the bottom end say the row's getting a good bit shorter now. Hmm. Yeah, fingers crossed. We've got enough seed to get to the end of this barley field. May do one more round and then put the other bag in. See how that all works out for us. into there, there we go and another tram line going in don't use quite so much seed on the tram line because you've got a patch there where it shuts the drill off it's 
surprised at how far across there it is to where we started the other side of the pond Shorter by a good bit now. here at all. I think we're going to have enough seed just over half a, half a full and that part bag to go in. I think if we That other hopper in just to be on the safe side. continue through show you the end of the barley There's 
about another four rounds, five rounds at the most. Dropping a tram line in on the way back again. We'll have to <coughs> go and get the Claydon rolls on and get this rolled before we start drilling the sugar beet tomorrow if the weather stays with us that is going to be long before we finished in here to its warrior marches on pretty well with the drill Also got fertilising to do in here, so we will be back in the field a couple of times after the drill's finished. Not going to extend today's vlog by a great deal. Finishing this barley off with you with us. get one more tram line in here before we're done even if we don't get two more way down to this end another couple of rounds I think will do as nicely trump line going in on this breed Then 
should pretty quickly come to the end of the barley a couple of short rows here to do a little bit early because we've got rain in the forecast <coughs> not overly bad thing if the rain comes it will give the barley a good germination point if it does rain we can always pop over and pick up the seed potatoes and the sugar beet seed Hopefully we can get this field done. Whilst we are here now. It's not a big field so hopefully we can get through it. It all depends how quickly that brain comes towards us. At least we've got the barley in, that's the main thing. As I say, if it rains, it will help the barley germinate nicely. We have got some crows there trying to pinch our barley seed. Won't do them a lot of good with the dressing on it though. as we can before the rain comes and we can finish it off tomorrow these 40 foot claydons we do cover the ground pretty quickly it will put the sugar beet drill in and potato planting back a day We 
because we could have got all the well we don't think we'd have got all the rolling done today anyway uh, there we go it's, weather is what it is can't do anything about it just have to work as best we can around it done if we can at least then will give us a good start for tomorrow's rolling so we can always go and uh, pick up the sugar beet seed and potato seed if we get some rain or get the job done when we can't do anything else instead of doing it when it's dry I am thinking we could maybe do with a different tractor we got rid of that other do it but probably been better keeping it to be fair uh, we won't be buying one for a little while yet we need to sort one or two other things out first Now way back around here. Another couple of rounds after this one and we won't be far from finished in this field. tram lines until the crop germinates but we don't need anything until we've got all the crops in anyway so it will be next month before we come to fertilise this Any pallets of sugar beet seed we're going to need. But we might pick up some potatoes, pick up the sugar beet, and possibly the carrot seed as well. Whilst we are over there, we can always stand the carrot seed on top, underneath the sugar beet seed to. have everything on the trailer ready to go Might even be able to get a start on the headlands of the next field. It is coming towards the end of the day anyway, so 
wouldn't have got much more done even without the rain coming so it would definitely been back rolling tomorrow anyway nicely down the tram line on this bus we shall keep recording now until We've either done enough time on the recording for the episode or until the rain comes, whichever comes first. may come overnight which would be absolutely brilliant for us but no, I can't see it I think it will not be too long before it's here time we get to the top here again we will about have finished
but I have to keep going. Another round back. Ah, just a smidgen short. Stay away rain just a little bit longer. Just a smidgen longer and then we can get at least this field finished. Head back to the top of the field for the final time. <coughs> and that should then enable us to start at least around the headland of the next field. Somebody there next to us got a bit of a weedy old field there. At least we've got one field done before any rain falls. Can we get through here without having to lift the rolls? That is the question. <coughs> I think we might just about make it. Uh, we can make a start, at least make a start in this field. Rain is getting closer.
hopefully the rain will pass so we can get this rolling done tomorrow not going to impact the day hopefully it's nearly four o'clock at this top corner at the end of the rolling so we can just pop out the gate at the end here and get the rolls taken back to the yard Today, that is where we are going to leave you. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you to Summer Farm Estates for, as always, allowing us to put their blogs, our their blogs, our blogs on their channel. Really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please give us a like, give us a share. If you drop us a comment, some of Farm Estates will pass your messages over until you join us again next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye for now.